Good afternoon, folks. Ammo Preparedness here. We're at our favorite big old membership club store. If you're not a member of one of these, you might want to think about it because of the savings. And here's the first one I'm going to show you today. Butane fuel cartridges. 548 each. Four count. I'm telling you, folks, these things are great. They work fantastic for those times when you don't have any fuel. And for you folks out there who've been watching my videos, I did the um, dehydrated eggs. I use these sheet pans in my Excalibur dehydrator. They work perfect for dehydrating. They fit the dehydrator just right. Not too big, not too small. And folks, disposable gloves. You've always got to have disposable gloves for cleanliness, especially during an SHTF event. You get four packs, that's 2,000 gloves total. That's a good supply, folks. Something you always need to keep in hand are contractor trash bags. They're extremely thick, super durable, and only $17.98 a box. And folks, never forget about your pets. Stock up on food for them. Dry food will last you a very long time. And for you folks out that have these solar systems, don't forget, once the trucks stop, you cannot get cleaning products. You're going to be stuck washing those items by hand, even though you got a solar system, plenty of power in your house. When you run out of this stuff, you're done. And for all you folks out there that have more than a few people in your family and you're looking for disposable items that are eco-friendly, the Dixie Cup insulated paper cups are definitely eco-friendly. Once you're done with them, you can wash them out if you want, and reuse them as long as you don't over-temp them. They're wax coated. They're only $16.48 for 156 count. And also remember your bowls. A lot of times you're sitting there going, why didn't I get bowls? 200 count, $8.98. When you want to have something to put in them, and you don't have them, or you have to wash them out, this is a way to do it, eco-friendly. These are the type of cooking and storage utensils and items that you want to stay away from, especially because if you do a burn, if you're allowed to burn your garbage, you don't want to have this making that smoke, bringing attention to yourself. These are styrofoam. Nobody thinks about bath cups. $7.98 for bath cups. Biodegradable, and they are eco-friendly. Folks, you guys know the drill. This is one of those big secrets. When they stop making aluminum foil, you can't get it. We all know about TP, so I won't even bother talking about it. Just look for the product that you like and get a lot of it. Like any other product, oatmeal prices are going up also, folks. $7.98 when this used to be $5.45. So, stock up on the oatmeal while the price is still low or you're going to find yourself without it. Your budgets will be busted. Spiderman Pop-Tarts, $4.91. What a deal, folks. What a deal. Stock up on these because if they've got an overabundance of them, they still have a very long shelf life because they're packed in Mylar. Yes, folks, and if you follow my channel, Classic Roast is now $9.18. Glad I stocked up. For you folks out that have finicky kids, spaghetti and meatballs. Healthy kids entree. 11 grams of protein per one cup. 20% of their daily vegetables. Little Johnny and little Jenny need to get the vegetables, folks. Even during an SHTF event. Think of their nutrition values. Even though it comes in a can, the shelf life and their taste buds will thank you. Save, you want to save a whole lot of money, folks? This is one of the secrets. Make your own macaroni and cheese. $4.98 for elbow macaroni. Here's one item that you can really give zing to your food. A two pack of A1 sauce. All purpose. $6.47. We've been keeping our eyes out on these items. And the prices are slowly creeping up. Up, up, up. These prices will always keep creeping up, folks. So, tomato sauce, tomato paste. proper secret is to catch it when the prices are low and here's that perfect find the number 10 cans tomato sauce 
298. For all you folks out there with big families, I wouldn't expect these to be here very much longer. And yes, folks, another example of why you shouldn't wait to buy bulk food. That used to be 1598 for a 25 pound bag. That used to be $28 for a 50 pound bag. So those prices are headed up. Well, this is one good thing. The spaghetti hasn't gone up very much at all. It's still is hanging about five bucks a box. But when you go over here and look at the Parmesan cheese, it definitely went up just as canoche. The angel hair pasta, it also rose in price a few pennies. And the last time we were here, we picked up a package of chicken bouillon cubes for $8.96. In this visit, we're going to pick up a beef bouillon cubes for the same price. And of course, sugar. Sugar is a commodity that, by golly, prices do fluctuate on the sugar market. So if you can afford to put a few aside, you're better off. Luckily, flour prices haven't gone up, so I'm going to go ahead and pick me up another 12 pounds for $5. Yes, folks, salt is what your body needs. $1.46. Don't just get one, get two. Morden salt deionized, or I mean ionized salt, four pounds. So when I talk about salt a lot is if you're out there game hunting and you want to preserve that meat, you need that salt. And your coffee backup plan, folks. Remember we talked about this before in our last videos, but guess what? It's still 867, so I'm going to grab you another 10. And here's the prepper secret, folks. Lift the lid. Always lift the lid. Inspect that guy 100%. Make sure you've got a good seal. That's like getting it home, waiting a few weeks, then opening it up. Find the seal had been broken inspect the bottom rotate it around to make sure there's no dents at the edge dents can be all here all you want but right along this seam right around that bottom seam you don't want any dents anytime you buy canned goods folks this is the next best prepper secret always inspect your cans always inspect your cans for dents do not take them home if they have dents around the edges around the seals you do not want to be disappointed to find that your food had gone bad months and months and months and months before because you didn't pay attention to those cans. When you throw them in the vehicle, don't throw them in the vehicle. And of course, folks, this is one of those things that you just don't want to buy. I mean, come on. This thing's a power energy hog. It uses electricity. It's probably for like a camp or like your college dorm room or whatever, but the reviews on these have been terrible. Try to avoid something like this at all costs. If you're expecting these to last long term, you think twice. Get them, use them, and put them away. Don't, don't get them, use them, but don't put these away for long term. They won't last. I've been watching this type of item for a very long time, and the price is just a little bit above what I'm looking for, but trust me if you've got a large area if you got a large group and you want to be able to be on the move cook and go and for all you folks out there like me that have the food saver bag system this is a ten dollar savings if you can afford to get two of them go ahead and of course folks rubbermaid i talked about storage another one of those big secrets is have storage if you don't have storage and you're out there foraging, they don't make these anymore, the trucks aren't delivering them, you better have them in the background just waiting to be used. These guys can be dishwasher safe. They last a long time as long as you don't have the dogs eat the lids, which happened at my house. Yes, folks, and always remember footwear. Remember socks for the little ones, socks for the kids, socks for the adults. Always have an extra supply of socks. Nothing like getting out of the shower, taking a bath, in your bug out bag, in your stay home bag. Have socks. Have briefs. Always think about underwear. Nothing like being able to sit out there in your daily owns and not have anything that you need to cover up. Sun damage. And as always, folks, one of the prepper secrets is have socks. 
You don't have to have them in your drawer. You can always put them in a box and mark them socks. And for you folks out there who have been watching my videos, I did the um, dehydrated eggs. I use these sheet pans in my Excalibur dehydrator. They work perfect for dehydrating. They fit the dehydrator just right. Not too big, not too small. And folks, disposable gloves. You've always got to have disposable gloves for cleanliness, especially during an SHTF event. You get four packs. That's 2,000 gloves total. That's a good supply, folks. Something you always need to keep in hand are contractor trash bags. They're extremely thick, super durable. And only $17.98 a box. And folks, never forget about your pets. Stock up on food for them. Dry food will last you a very long time. And for you folks out that have these solar systems, don't forget, once the trucks stop, you cannot get cleaning products. You're going to be stuck washing those items by hand, even though you got a solar system, plenty of power in your house. When you run out of this stuff, you're done. For all you folks out there that have more than a few people in your family and you're looking for disposable items that are eco-friendly, the Dixie Cup insulated paper cups are definitely eco-friendly. Once you're done with them, you can wash them out if you want and reuse them as long as you don't over-temp them. They're wax-coated. Only $16.48 for 156 count. And also remember your bowls. A lot of times you're sitting there going, why didn't I get bowls? 200 count, 898. When you want to have something to put in them and you don't have them or you have to wash them out, this is a way to do it, eco-friendly. These are the type of cooking and storage utensils and items that you want to stay away from, especially because if you do a burn, if you're allowed to burn your garbage, you don't want to have this making that smoke, bringing attention to yourself. These are styrofoam. Nobody thinks about bath cups. $7.98 for bath cups. Biodegradable and they are eco-friendly. Right, folks, you guys know the drill. This is one of those big secrets. When they stop making aluminum foil, you can't get it. We all know about TP, so I won't even bother talking about it. Just look for the product that you like and get a lot of it. Like any other product, oatmeal prices are going up also, folks. $7.98 when this used to be $5.45. So, stock up on the oatmeal while the price is still low or you're going to find yourself without it. Your budgets will be busted. Spiderman Pop-Tarts, $4.91. What a deal, folks. What a deal. Stock up on these because if they've got an overabundance of them, they still have a very long shelf life because they're packed in Mylar. Yes, folks, and if you follow my channel, Classic Roast is now 918. Glad I stocked up. For you folks out that have finicky kids, spaghetti and meatballs. Healthy kids entree. 11 grams of protein per one cup. 20% of their daily vegetables. Little Johnny and little Jenny need to get their vegetables, folks, even during an SHTF event. Think of their nutrition values. Even though it comes in a can, the shelf life. And their taste buds will thank you. Save, you want to save a whole lot of money, folks? This is one of the secrets. Make your own macaroni and cheese. $4.98 for elbow macaroni. Here's one item that you can really give zing to your food. A two-pack of A1 sauce. All purpose. $6.47. We've been keeping our eyes out on these items, and the prices are slowly creeping up, 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 up. These prices will always keep creeping up, folks, so tomato sauce, tomato paste. The proper secret is to catch it when the prices are low. And here's that perfect find, the number 10 cans, tomato sauce. $2.98. For all you folks out there with big families, I wouldn't expect these to be here very much longer. Well, this is one good thing. The spaghetti hasn't gone up very much at all. It's still is handing about five bucks a box. But when you go over here and look at the Parmesan cheese, it definitely went up just a skinosh. 
the angel hair pasta it also rose in price a few pennies and yes folks another example of why you shouldn't wait to buy bulk food that used to be $15.98 for a 25 pound bag that used to be $28 for a 50 pound bag so those prices are headed up and the last time we were here we picked up a package of chicken bouillon cubes for $8.96 in this visit we're going to pick up a beef bouillon cubes for the same price and of course sugar sugar is a commodity that by golly prices do fluctuate on the sugar market so if you can afford to put a few aside you're better off luckily flour prices haven't gone up so I'm gonna go ahead and pick me up another 12 pounds for five dollars well folks I waited long enough the Yoshi copper grill and bake mats are on sale you get a two-pack for $4.99 Folks, when you're out there and you find a grill that's nasty and you just don't want to take the time cleaning off that campsite grill, this is a godsend. You lay it over that nasty grill, you get your fire going, and you still get the grill marks, but not the disgusting leftover crud that somebody had done before you at these campgrounds. The management don't clean them. It's up to you to clean your own campsite grill top these will save you a whole lot of time and trouble they fit right in your backpack your bug out bag your camp quip your camp equipment just get these folks they're really inexpensive and they sure save you a lot of heartache and discontent and that'll just about do it today folks admiral preparedness here remember if it can be on your budget go ahead and try it if you don't you're gonna be having to do it later always budget always think about the future Always remember, if those trucks stop and you don't have anything, you're out there in the cold. Take care, folks. Have a preparedness here. God loves you.